All right, this is Laurel back on an Ask Laurel. Where do you transfer your 401k? So sometimes your questions aren't accurately asked. So first of all, you could self-direct your 401k. And depending on the tax structure, a lot of folks that I am aware of, in fact, I did it at one point, I took my old 401k that I had from a job and I moved it into a Roth. So yes, there was a tax consequence on that first move, but then everything that you invest inside of the Roth grows tax-free, tax-deferred for the rest of your life and can even be uh, put into a, le a legacy model. So that's up to you and it's up to your cash position whether you have the ability to pay the taxes. Again, talk to an uh, alternative financial planner. We have folks that you can talk to that are part of our community. They're experts in those areas, several different choices, and get some opinions, right? If you are, and you'll call into our office and you really want to know from our folks, I can introduce you to two, three, four different people and uh, make a choice if that makes sense for you as far as what it's invested in as it grows tax-free in a Roth. Uh, and in Canada, the same thing as a TSA, which is a tax-free savings account. You can do real estate, you can do notes, you could do residential assisted living, you could have a business. I mean, there's all sorts of, I know people who do cryptocurrency, flip Wall Street, lots of choices when you get into the self-directed space. So um, call in and uh, let's uh, hand you one of our experts that that's what they do all of the time. But yes, most people would take it from a 401k to a Roth and then grow it tax-free from there.